Hey everyone, how's it going? Dr. Todd from Move Now, and I'm here with Dr. Jeff Kronk from Smart Injury Doctors. Remember, he's a chiropractor who went to law school and he's got a lot that he's been helping us with. He's built this program called Smart Injury Doctors. You've probably heard uh, about me talking about how we're using this in our practice, how it's how it's really given us a ton of confidence to be able to dive into personal injury work and do it at a very high level. Anytime I feel like I don't have the answer to something, I go back into Smart Injury Doctors, I usually find it. And then I send a message over to Dr. Kronk or I put, I put something on his private Facebook group and I get answers, which is great. So this Saturday, we're going to be teaching a webinar together talking about, let's see, what's the main thing? Five ways to blow attorney relationships. Totally. Okay. And uh, I know that sounds a little negative, but don't worry. We're going to spin it. We're going to talk about all the positive things you should be doing so you don't blow them. Uh, but this week, we're going to be doing Facebook Lives pretty much daily talking about a specific topic going in for about 10 minutes. This one is certainty when speaking to attorneys or really speaking to anyone for that matter. And so I was telling Dr. Kronk, as I've had all these, these attorneys come into our clinic, we take them on tours, we talk with them, we lunch with them. They have these same reoccurring questions. So I've been throwing those questions at Dr. Kronk, hearing his feedback, which is great because it helps me solidify my game. Just a little side note before I turn this over to Dr. Kronk, this Saturday, what we're gonna go through is talk about in detail how to really set yourself up to dominate this. But then we're going to talk about how we've set up all of these in-person meetings and all of these um, fast track relationships that we've built with these attorneys in such a short period of time. So don't worry, we're going to talk all about that. So Dr. Kronk, tell me a little bit about what you were just talking about. Like if someone comes in and they say, okay, well, you know, how do you know this injury wasn't here before? Tell you what, we'll use a live example with you. But before I start that, definitely, um, there's ways that you can blow attorney re referral relationships. And the sadly, what can happen is you can have you can have an attorney relationship where you are getting five to 10 attorney referrals from that attorney. Good attorney too, not a captive attorney, not somebody who's going to be dictating care or what you have to do. A really good attorney and a really good referral source. And you can blow that referral source very easily. So those are some of the things that we're going to be going over on Saturday. So one, when you do all the time and put in all the energy and you nurture the relationship and you have the relationship, one, what does it take to get that? So you're not blowing it in that stage. But then once you have it, how do you not blow it at that, you know, at, at the next stage? And what are the what are what is anybody really looking for? I mean, basically what people are looking for is they're looking for confidence. They're looking for people and doctors that can answer their questions instantaneously that don't have to think about, OK, what what you know, what's the answer to this question? Or, oh, my God, that one threw me for a loop. Um, or, hey, you know what? I'm with this guy, Dr. Kronk, you know, uh, after this after this uh, depot, I'm going to call him and find out, you know, more information about what he would say or what somebody else would say or. Uh, where you're sitting in a deposition and you're stumbling around or you listen, there's no there's nothing different from approaching an attorney to have them get you referrals and a deposition. The only thing you had done is you haven't sworn to tell the whole, you know, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I'm telling you that you should swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth every time you're communicating. Right. But what people are looking for is certainty and simplicity not complexity um i know when somebody's in a deposition if they're answering super complicated answers they're giving me super complicated answers i know immediately they really don't know and that gives me the ability to go in and really explore so todd you 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 gave me a question hey um why don't, why don't you set that question up you know what that attorney said yeah. So they said, they said, okay, yeah, this is great seeing how you guys practice, but how do you know that this person didn't have this injury before they went through this car crash? How do you know they didn't have these findings before they went through the car crash? Good. So doctors, I'm going to give you a little bit of background. That attorney doesn't know what the injuries are in the first place. They probably never have. Right. So now you as a doctor, if you know what the injuries are, well, we went on the last Facebook live, um, we talked about, hey, there's only three injuries, but you got to know those three cold. You got to know them totally cold. You got to know what they are, what the guidelines say about them, what the consensus says about them. There's three main injuries. There's effects from those three main injuries, but there's three main injuries. Once you know them cold, you can have certainty. So 
what the attorney is saying is, hey, if my client had a dog bite and they had, you know, they broke their arm six times before playing football, various stages in their life. Uh, when they fell off the ladder, blah, blah, blah. They also had an old injury where they cut themselves in the forearm very bad. So they have a history of a lot of different injuries there. So how do I know that this new injury is not an old injury? Well, it's very simple. You have to know what an injury looks like in the first place. If you don't know what spinal injuries look like, then it's very hard to differentiate. And you'll be sitting in that, it, uh, in that question going, wow, that's a really good question. <laughs> How do you tell if they didn't have it before? I mean, if a person had seven head injuries before, they show up at your clinic with big, big set of stitches, <laughs> right? And... Um, they obviously have a severe head injury. And basically somebody's saying, well, how do, you, how do you differentiate injuries, the new injury from the old injury? That happens when you know what the injuries look like and you can easily differentiate. So it's an easy question to answer. First of all, your certainty is, um, the, the question is, how do I know this wasn't an old injury? How do you, Dr. Kronk, how do you know this wasn't an old injury? because it's a new injury. It's consistent with what this injury would have left behind. I've diagnosed it, I've imaged it, and I've clinically correlated it perfectly. It's a new injury, it's not an old injury. Well, how do you know it's not an old injury? I'm telling you it's not an old injury, but if you have evidence that can show me that it's an old injury, which is laughable, like that's absolutely laughable. But it on, those only come up because the majority of doctors and the majority of attorneys in the market don't actually know what these injuries look like. That's yeah. why it comes up. So when we said last time, confusion is contagious, right? That attorney that's asking that question is confused. Now, the opposite of confusion is competency. And competency is highly contagious as well. So doctors will say to me, Todd, well, how do I know, how do I get good attorney referrals? by being very competent at what you do and being able to be very competent in your simple explanations, direct to the point, confident, because that is also contagious. And people that are confused, are they're attracted to people who are competent and not confused. So sure. that's, that's, the, that's the doctor you wanna be in. And the, you know, this is an easy, easy, easy question to answer. You know, and a common follow-up question from that that I've I've heard from a handful of attorneys is they say, okay, so are you willing to do a deposition? Are you willing to go to court if need be? Because we've worked with all these other doctors that when it comes down to that, they disappear or they just fold. And that's Good. where and that's where that's where something that you even have inside your program is you have a whole training on just how to do a deposition. And the funny thing is that's something that I actually just share with that attorney that's talking to me. I say, actually, we're trained on exactly how to go through deposition. We even have a, a whole list of, of really great questions for you to ask and take us through so that we can really present all this evidence in a proper fashion. And then something that I don't keep, I don't keep it a secret when I'm talking to these attorneys that we go through training from you because that because that actually just builds up what we're doing. It's not something we just came up came up with on our own. It's that we are aligning ourselves with top experts to get this information. Right. So, so you remember how we talked about features and benefits? Mm -hmm. And so, what you what you just described was a feature. Hey, we did this training. We've done additional training. We've done those are features, mm -hmm. right? The benefit is, so ask me the question, ask me the follow-up question and I'll show you what I'm talking about, how you incorporate the benefit first, and then yeah. if you need to, you go into the features. Got so you. go ahead, and ask me the question. Yeah, so okay, well, that sounds great, but there's always other doctors that we work with that when, when it comes down to it, when they have to do deposition or go to court, they just fold or they go running. Are you willing to do that? 100%, depositions are super, super simple. 100%, but here's the thing, here's the cool thing. A lot of times because our documentation is so good and our understanding is so good and you can get it right out of our documentation, depots of court trials aren't gonna be needed. But if they're needed, yeah, they're the simplest thing in the world to do. Great, <laughs> okay. Now, Done. did it answer the question? Yes. Yeah. 
Sure. Very quickly answer the question. Yeah, I added a little bit more confidence building things to the answer mm -hmm. so that the person is like immediately instruct there. One, it's direct. Two, it's confident. And I'm not faking that confidence. I I'm 100% certain depositions are simple. They're easy. They're fun. Um, they're not hard. The only thing that's a pain in the butt with them is they're time consuming and you, you got to schedule them. And that part of it, it's a little bit, you got to work to get paid up front to make sure that you're not, not getting paid. There's little tech. Those are the, those are the features behind it, mm -hmm. but um, they're easy. So the question answered quickly with certainty. Now the person may say, gosh, you know, uh, have you done that before? They want to, they may want to know additional information. Then, now you're going to answer whatever question they have on that. But the yes. first first thing is, and that's, man, answer the question. And that's that's a common follow-up question that they ask. They say, okay, so have you been in court before? Yes. It's to me. And then. Okay, good. So let's say, let's say that you haven't been in court. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you're brand new and you haven't been to court. No, I can't. I have not been to court. I cannot imagine that this would be difficult because these injuries are so easy to explain. It'll be easy in court. It'll be easy in deposition or wherever else you want to place me. Yeah. Good. Period. Yeah. That's all they want to know really. And when you're that certain, that person's going to walk away and go, that was different. Mm -hmm. And that's and, right. And that's, and that's really what I think, carries so much weight is that they're looking at how would this person do in court? How would they carry themselves in court? And so they're just judging that based on how you're speaking with them and how you're responding to their questions right there. You're getting a trial run with them right there with the question. How did you answer the question? Right. Did you ramble all over the place? And did you answer the question in 10 minutes? Or did you answer the question in 20 seconds or less? Mm -hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? So, and, but that's the beautiful thing. That's what we're going to be sharing on Saturday. We're going to be sharing like these things don't just happen overnight for doctors. They don't, they just, but here's the thing. When you have that level of confidence and you have that level of certainty and it's not a false certainty or a false com confidence, it's attractive. It's attractive with your staff. It's attractive with your patients. It's attractive with attorneys. It's attractive with medical doctors. It's attractive. If you want to go out and publicly speak, it's attractive. And that's and and it's also it's based on understanding and it's based on results. So it has longevity. It will be needed today. It will be needed 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 100 years from now. Sure. And it will replace what's currently in the market. Which is the exact opposite as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, that's. Those are great little tidbits. And this Saturday, everyone, what we're going to do is we have this stuff lined out. We're going to go through it step by step. You're going to get tons of takeaways from it. And then we're not going to leave you hanging and just say, okay, great. There's some great information, but there's nothing to take action with. I will share how I've taken the stuff I've learned inside of Smart Injury Doctors and put that into action and how that's gotten the attention of all these attorneys. It's funny, like, as we're going through this, I get a little pop-up on my screen right here. And the pop-up <laughs> is that, and, and, and this pop-up is that tomorrow, the one time this week that I had an opening that I was trying to fill to go to lunch with an attorney, just filled up tomorrow at 2 p.m. So tomorrow at 2 p.m. And, and because my goal is to have three lunches with attorneys every single week. Right. I did it last week, I did it the week before, and now I'm booked for this week. So, well, I'll tell you what. You know, Saturday, that's where we're going to be able to show is how you've taken this process and automated it in a beautiful way that's generating tons and tons and tons of interest and relationships. So I look forward to it. I look for I'll, I'll, I'll leave it however you want to end today. But I'm looking forward to Saturday. Cool. Gotcha. Awesome. So I will put a link. Uh, I think I already actually put the link here to register. And so everyone who's on this, go ahead and click on that link, register for the webinar. We will see you this Saturday. And yes, John, I am so looking forward to this as well. So we'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, everyone.